what's up guys? I'm gonna start this video off by saying that belief is the only thing that matters if you wanna beat autoimmune disease. And I, you might be thinking on the surface that I'm being oversimplistic, possibly. But at the core of healing, belief is crucial. Because when you actually believe that healing's possible or that remission is attainable, it instills hope. And hope changes your healing journey because you actually follow through with things because you believe you have hope. And I'm not sure where you guys are on your, like where you're at on your healing journey. I just remember when I was searching in the beginning, you might be looking on Google or YouTube and you're searching phrases to find people that have overcome their Crohn's or colitis or other autoimmune diseases. And you listen to their stories and, and they sound awesome and, and you hope that you can get there. But at the same time, you don't quite believe it. You don't 100% believe it and know inside you that it's possible. And maybe you do, but I know from where I was coming from in the beginning, I didn't. I had my doubts and you might be feeling these too. But I remember when that all changed was when I had a conversation with an amazing woman and her name was Lucy. And she's actually the owner of a company called Lucy's Kitchen. And for anybody that's ever tried the SED diet, she's a lady that provides a lot of the essentials for SED. So I was calling to order some almond flour and this is close to a decade ago. And I asked her if she had, if she had a few minutes to talk and she said, sure. And really what I wanted to ask her is I just asked her, I said, can you tell me your story? And she said, sure. She told me about how she was sick with colitis and she was suffering for quite a few years and nothing was working. And she said she eventually had enough and she was, she scheduled uh, an operation to have her colon removed. And then she said a few weeks before her operation, she, she came upon breaking the vicious cycle book and she decided that she was going to give SCD diet a try. And to her surprise, within a week, she was feeling for the first time in a long time better than she's ever felt. And the next week she felt even better. And she felt so, her her healing improved so drastically that she decided to cancel the surgery. She was gonna try, she was gonna try healing on her own. And at the time of this taping right now, she's been in remission, in sustained remission for over two decades. And I remember when I was talking to her, there was a, there was a point when it finally clicked, when I finally got it hearing this woman talk, that if she could do it, then so could I. She was worse than me. You know, she suffered for a long time with this colitis and she still was able to overcome her disease and, and living like an awesome life for 20 plus years. Like, that's ridiculous. You know, it gave me so much hope. And I remember being so grateful and thankful. And I hung up the phone and I remember just being overwhelmed with joy. I was, I actually had hope. I remember a few tears coming down my face and you know, I'm a man, I never cry, so that never happened. But I just remember, thinking that it was actually possible. I actually believed it. And Lucy, by whatever, if you happen to be watching this video, I wanna say thank you so much for sharing the time that, that the time that you spent with me on the phone. And I'm sure we were on the phone for close to an hour explaining more details about what you went through. But thank you so much for helping a, a scared young dude that really had no idea what he was doing and you helped instill some hope into his life and yeah you you changed my life that that amount of time that you took changed my life and i'm eternally grateful for your effort and for anybody watching this if you decide to try scd diet uh you can get your essentials at lucy's kitchen i'll provide a link in the description because she's awesome you know so if you guys want to show her some love the link's in the description i also wanted to discuss qualifying others who achieve remission from crohn's and colitis and what do i mean by qualifying that's when your subconscious mind is, is loudly saying to you, I wonder if my disease is worse than theirs. And I'm sure we've all been watching a, testi a testimonial or YouTube video and somebody was saying, and you're, they're talking about their healing story. And you're thinking, I wonder how long they had their disease for. I wonder if they suffer from lupus and an IBD. I wonder if they had really bad cataracts. I wonder if they had an anal fistula. I wonder if they had a resection operation. It's pretty much your ego fighting you to believe that their, their results are unique to their situation and providing reasons why you can't achieve the same thing. And if you're thinking those thoughts, don't sweat it because I, I remember being there. I remember having the exact same thoughts where I was fighting myself, you know, almost saying that I couldn't get better. It's like my ego was like working to, to make me think I couldn't heal myself and overcome the disease. And you know what? One of the main goals of my site 
is to instill hope. And I want to do you I want to do that by showing you success stories through testimonials and highlighting remission ninjas. You know, I guess I guess you could say I'm trying to prove to you that you can do it. Because as you watch more videos, as you hear more inspirational stories of people overcoming their disease, a woman that might be similar to yourself or a man that you can relate to or just somebody you can relate to, you start believing and saying, hey man, I if, if they can do it, I can do it. You know, and I think I can heal. And, and you'll watch that, that hope or that inspiration, it starts to build and you actually, st- you have this, this really good belief that you can do it. And like I mentioned about my switch, you're going to experience that switch when you know that it's actual po- it's possible for you to do it. And each time you hear somebody's story, your belief grows stronger. And the neat thing about belief is that belief belief creates clarity and clarity is power. Before you know it, your beliefs have changed. You have a plan. Your actions enforce your beliefs. And now you're feeling better than ever. Can you see why I say belief is everything? And again, I'm not trying to be over simplistic. Just trying to say is what you believe and what you think really is the truth. It's what's going to happen. So I'm sort of curious to know for anybody watching this video, is there a point when you actually believe that you could beat this disease? And if you're at a point right now when you can't, maybe just explain that. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. And yeah, I appreciate the support, guys. Thanks a million. Are you tired of feeling crappy? Get my free healing guide. Tips, tweaks, and hacks. Click the description for more information.